Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. It feels like it has been so long since I filmed and edited a video for you guys. I have been posting but all of those were pre-filmed and this is my very first video back post baby filming and getting a video out and it is feeling so good to get back into things. Today we are going to be tackling the most lived in areas of my house that have just gone completely destroyed over the last couple of weeks. As you guys know I did give birth three weeks ago to my third baby and I've been recovering from a c-section so a lot of the main areas around the house have just been getting out of hand I have been recovering I have been living on the couch getting all of the baby snuggles and it has been absolutely wonderful Justin of course has been a huge help but he has been taking care of the other two kids and we have just been trying to enjoy this time as a new family of five and that is exactly what we have done so like I said things have been getting out of control in the cleaning department and I was so excited to jump back in and get this place cleaned up. I did try and take it easy but once I got started I just wanted to keep going but I have been feeling really really good. The two week mark after my surgery was definitely the turning point where I finally was starting to feel like myself. My body was healing up and I was just feeling great but I gave myself that extra week and I am finally getting back into things. Of course I will not be doing anything crazy like deep cleaning. I can't vacuum. I can't mop anything where I'm kind of using my abdomen but everything else I am getting tackled and getting done and I really hope you all enjoy today's video I ended up starting to film this video a lot later in the day than I originally intended to so this was right after supper I believe it was around 6 p.m. and we were just getting started by cleaning up the dinner mess getting the island cleared off and taking care of the kitchen first I wanted to quickly say thank you to everybody who sent so much love and well wishes our way while we were having our baby we got so many messages I am still trying to catch up on Instagram but it just means the absolute world to me that you guys were thinking of us and congratulations us and we just could not be more thankful for all of you and I also wanted to say hello and welcome if you are new here my name is Aaliyah and I am a mom of three I do have a four-year-old son he actually just turned four on June 5th I have a two-year-old daughter and of course sweet baby Quinn who was born three weeks ago I post new cleaning motivation videos every single Tuesday here on my channel and I also have quite a few room makeovers coming up we are doing the formal dining room the office we are swapping the kids bedrooms so it is going to be a busy couple months here on my channel Channel. and if you are interested and enjoy cleaning motivation videos room makeovers organizing decluttering all of that stuff make sure you subscribe down below before you leave If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen these boxes already. These are what I used for Quinn's name reveal. They were actually a gift from my mother-in-law for the baby and I just wanted to share them quickly because as you can see, each box is a box of diapers. I just thought this was such a genius and adorable idea. It is such a good gift for anybody who is having a baby. I had not emptied the dishwasher or cleaned the kitchen at all in the last three weeks and I won't lie I have really been enjoying the downtime I have been loving relaxing and just kind of letting Justin take care of all of the housework but it is always nice to get back onto a routine I am somebody who thrives when we have a routine if we don't I feel like things can be chaotic and messy and I do get a lot more stressed a lot easier when we are not on our scheduled routine so I have been really enjoying the last couple weeks and I wouldn't trade them for anything but it always feels so good to get things back to normal Don't let them sell. Oh 
Justin and I are very different when it comes to loading our dishwasher, so I am curious where you guys stand on it. I am somebody who just loads the dishwasher. I rinse the dishes out, and if there's something caked on, I will scrub them out, but I mostly do just rinse the dishes, and I am guilty of throwing them in there and letting the dishwasher do all of the work, whereas Justin is somebody who scrubs and cleans the dishes completely, where he could just put them back into the cupboard, but instead of doing that, he loads the dishwasher and uses it more as a sanitizer, so let me know where you guys fall. I just feel like why waste my time doing something that is going to get done in the machine anyway, but maybe I'm looking at it all wrong, so let me know down in the comments. After I was finished in the kitchen, I wanted to make sure I came upstairs to get started in the playroom. This is where we spend most of our days. We spend most of our time up here. It's just where all the kids' toys are. It's an easy room to just kind of keep everyone contained and happy and entertained. So this is where we are. And as you can see, it definitely shows this room was an insane mess. I, of course, had not been cleaning up. I had not been staying on top of it. And we kind of just let it go knowing I was going to be filming. It, of course, does not usually get this bad but I feel like I have a good excuse and she is sitting right in the swing behind me here but I'm just going to be picking up everything off the floor I'm not going to be vacuuming Justin did do that a little bit later in the evening I cannot wait till I can vacuum again because it is my favorite chore so I always miss it when I have my c-sections but hopefully I can get back into it in a couple of weeks about 8 30 or 9 p.m. when I was cleaning this room and so many of you are always so shocked by the amount of daylight I have. I have mentioned it before on my channel but I live in Alberta, Canada and it stays light out in the summer months till about 11 p.m. for June, July, and August I would say and then it starts to go down again and the sun actually rises at 5 a.m. so we do only get about five or six hours of darkness which I absolutely love. I feel like I have so much more energy and I just really love having the longer days to get stuff done. I actually was shocked that not everywhere was like that. I had no idea that places didn't stay light out like it does here. I believe the further north you go, the lighter it is. So let me know down below where you are from and what time the sun sets where you are because I am very curious. I have contemplated redoing the furniture in here so many times because I actually don't love the dark wood. I used to really like it a couple of years ago and it is just not my taste anymore, but I just feel like there is no point with my kids running around. As you can see, the side table is so banged up and I feel like if I redo it, it's going to end up being the same anyway, so we might wait a couple years and then I'll either redo it or get a couple new pieces for this room, but I think it would make a huge difference. I just don't know if it's the right time. Are you feeling the same way I do?
The day I am recording these voiceovers is Monday and it is Justin's first day back to work so it was my first solo day with all three kids and it actually went really really well. I have been very nervous for this day but things went pretty smoothly and it was really all I could ask for. Justin and I have talked and we've actually said the jump from two to three kids has been a lot easier than the jump from one to two kids in our opinion. Our first two were very close together though. They were only 16 months apart. I got pregnant with Rowan when Grayson was only seven months old so it was definitely a very close gap and he was a late walker. He wasn't walking when she was born so I felt like I just had two babies and it was really really hard whereas this time around my kids are a little bit older and the space is a little bigger. They are both a lot more independent and it's just been really good this time. Maybe it's because we're just old pros now that we have three but the jump from two to three has been really good for us and I am very thankful for it. Quinn is living with us for the time being. I do usually keep my kids in our room in the bassinet for about four months until they kind of start growing out of it. So this is where she is living for now. We also do not have a nursery for her, which is kind of weird and definitely an adjustment for us. For our other babies, we did have their own rooms for them, but since this home we have is three bedrooms, Grayson and Rowan are still having their own rooms. And Quinn is with us, but we are thinking of moving the girls right into their own room. We were going to have Grayson and Rowan share until Quinn is no longer waking up, but Rowan does not like the idea of Quinn taking her room. I think it's the fact that she's also another little girl and Rowan is just such a girly little princess. She doesn't want to give up her prank room. She wants to keep her crib set, everything like that. And I really don't want there to be any issue with moving her out and having an issue issue with Quinn even though I know it would be fine if we did it but I just want to make the transition as smooth as possible. I'm sure you guys understand that if you have kids of your own. So what we're thinking of doing is just doing the switch when Quinn is around four months old which I do not know how that's going to go having Rowan bunking with a baby but we will see we haven't decided yet but I would love to hear from you guys if you have any situations with your kids that you kind of had like this and just give me some insight on what you did because I'm just not sure what's going to work best. I wanted to just show you guys quickly the cute little Father's Day gifts the kids and I made for Justin. So Grayson did a handprint and it's Hulk and it says, you're my superhero, love Grayson. And then Rowan's is just so stinking cute. We did her hands as the little bottom for a dress and then it just says, I'll always be daddy's little princess, love Rowan. And of course we didn't really make one from Quinn because she's only a couple weeks old, but they're also from her. some balance in my life but i never really put up a fight didn't follow my dreams and now i'm losing sleep i'm just stocking this little drawer system i have in our toilet room with all of my postpartum must-haves this is the perfect place to keep them as you can see they're just kind of thrown everywhere right now and there was no organization whatsoever that is how much I have been slacking so I thought I better get this area nice and organized and clean and it just felt really good to finally get this done because I am not joking you guys when I say I took three weeks off I have been taking three weeks off and just enjoying every second. A 
if you have the opportunity to purchase this mr. clean spray I highly recommend it I love the way it sprays and I like that the smell isn't super strong but you can tell it cleans really well I really trust the mr. clean brand to disinfect and I just really enjoyed this product so I would 100% recommend this for kitchens or bathrooms or any areas like that I forgot to mention at the beginning of today's video, but I am ending out today's video with baby Quinn. If you guys are interested in seeing her little face and kind of getting to meet her, I know so many of you have been anticipating her arrival and would love to see her. So make sure you stay tuned until the end if you are interested in that. This is three basket loads of clean laundry that I have had sitting in our room for the last couple of weeks and I 10 out of 10 would not recommend leaving all of your clean laundry to fold in one go. I do not enjoy folding and putting away laundry so that is a big reason I haven't done it and it is not Justin's area of expertise at all to take care of it so we have just been living out of laundry baskets for the last couple of weeks which has been fine. It has worked but like I've kind of said throughout this entire video it feels so good to get this done and just get back to some normalcy. I believe I was filming this portion of my video around 10 p.m. and as you can see there is still a ton of daylight coming in. The sun was definitely starting to set but I honestly just cannot imagine not having this kind of daylight in the summer. After I was finished upstairs, I came back downstairs to just finish up in the living room. This was at the very bottom of my priority list to get done. I wasn't sure if I'd have the energy to keep going, but I was on a roll. I was feeling productive, so I just wanted to come down here and quickly just get this area tidied up because I knew how good it would feel getting my entire list tackled. I also had a couple balloons here that I wanted to pop from Grayson's birthday party a couple weeks ago, and I always have to do this once the kids are in bed and hope when they wake up in the morning they just kind of forget about them and don't ask where they went.
So before I wrap up today's video, I did just want to share with you guys baby Quinn. I know so many of you have been waiting for her arrival and to just see her and meet her and everything else. So here she is. I have been sharing a lot more over on Instagram, but this is her first YouTube appearance. But she is such a good baby. We have just been so lucky. She's a good sleeper. She's so content and she's just a happy girl. So... I'm so happy she's here. I just feel like our family is complete and I'm just obsessed. I'm obsessed with her. I just can't get enough. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Thank you so much for all of the love and support you guys have sent me here on YouTube and over on Instagram. It truly means the absolute world to me and I will see you guys all next Tuesday with a brand new video. Bye guys.